The good news is, by using two different measurement instruments, you can apply the scientific method to saddle fitting. Measure, hypothesis, predict, test, and validate. Here is a graphic of how the relationship between the weight of the load and the weight of the animal can be established. This measurement can be validated by cross-correlating the mathematical formula with interface pressure measurement. Here you can see a saddle interface pressure scan of a saddle that fits, indicated by the relatively even blue or pressure under one pound per square inch and a mathematical formula calculation at about 99 percent. In contrast, here is a saddle that does not fit, indicated by the red areas and the no pressure in the middle, which shows bridging and a mathematical calculation at about 50 percent. That's the good news. We can define the fit of a saddle precisely. The bad news is that finding a saddle that actually fits is a permutation nightmare. Let me illustrate. If we simplify the shape of an animal's back into three cross sections and only consider two angles at each cross section and between each cross section, that calculation would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and equals 32 different possible combinations. In the real world, animal back shapes vary at the withers from as narrow as 75 degrees on some thoroughbreds to as wide as 120 degrees on some draft breeds. So using two different degrees is just for illustration only. Now to make matters worse, because the saddle industry does not employ any three-dimensional measurement standard, there cannot be any quality control. So the saddles vary in shape significantly and need to have the same measurements applied for this calculation. So the permutation of animal and saddle combinations is 32 times 32 in this illustration, which equals 1024. This is the reason that saddles do not fit. It is a permutation nightmare, and the saddle industry cannot admit it because if they do admit it, no one will buy the saddles and they will go bankrupt which is why you should not believe any so-called saddle fitting expert because you're being misled.